you know where I see the equivalent of 576 megapixels? That means their eyes have the combined resolution of just under 50 iPhone 11s. Welcome back to another Two Minute Tuesday, and today we're gonna to be looking at whether or not we can actually see 8K. Well, that's actually kind of a bad way to put that question because whether or not we can actually see 8K is dependent on a combination of things. When we ask ourselves, can we see 8K? Well, the simple answer is yes, we can see 8K. We can watch all of our binge-worthy series in 8K if we really wanted to and if the content was out there. But the real question is whether or not our eyes can actually perceive the difference between 8K and, say, 4K. So before we get into this, we need to understand our eyes a little bit better. As I mentioned before, a very smart scientist and photographer, Dr. Roger Clark, calculated our eyes to have a resolution of about 276 megapixels. That would mean you'd have to cram in 576 million pixels into what would be our field of view. When we compare that number to the number of pixels in an AK TV, which is just over 33 million pixels, it seems like a whole lot. But here's where it gets weird. Our eyes actually only see a fraction of that. Again, according to Dr. Clark, our eyes at a glance will only truly interpret five to 15 megapixels of that. Now, the reason for this is that our eyes kind of cheat. Our eyes take snapshots and form a kind of data bank and use clues from our surrounding environment and then kind of pieces it together. So does that mean our eyes can't really see an AK? That's not exactly it either. At the right distance, with the correct display size, our eyes will be able to perceive a difference between an AK and a 4K television. So do our eyes see the difference between 4K and AK? The short answer to that would be yes. Again, that's given the right viewing distance based on the size of the TV, we'd be able to see that the AK display is better. The AK would simply look a little more smoother, a little more realistic. If you wanna learn more about HDR and some of the contributing factors to the high dynamic range, we'll link the video down in the comment section below. Now, with things like Dolby Vision and ACR10, we really notice differences between that high dynamic range and prior formats like SDR. The AK component is definitely gonna bring along more life and a little more dynamic gradient along with it when you're comparing it to the 4K. Whether it's 8K or 4K, if you're looking to buy a new TV, head over to gibbyzsm.ca for the best selection of home audio and home video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up or let us know in the comment section below if you have other questions. Now remember to subscribe and hit the bell to stay up to date with all of our new content. Until next time guys, take it easy. All right, I'm done.